We talked about cable selection criteria a little bit in previous videos, but I want to make sure that I dedicate an entire video to it. So that's what this video is going to be all about because I want to make sure I talk about all the specific points you need to consider. So let's go ahead and get into it. So what's the first criteria? Well, the first criteria is going to always going to be your budget. What can you afford? So, you know, ideally there's certain types of network cabling that we want, but what fits best within to our budgets? What can we afford and what do our resources allow us to purchase? Now, the second one is going to be your speed requirements. So what type of bandwidth do we need to support both now and in the future? So we just can't think about now because we want our network to support growth over time. So we need to consider what do we need now and what will it support in the future. And what you have to do is you have to figure out what's going to fit best or fit best within that. So you need to figure, OK, what's going to support us now plus the future. And, you know, it may not be fiber, which is may be what you ideally want, but maybe it's going to be something like CAT6 or CAT5e where it's 1 gigabit per second or 10 gigabit per second. Now the third one is going to be your distance requirement. So again, we're thinking about both currently and in the future. So everything we need to think about is does it support us now and does it support our future growth in the future. So you know we really only have two different options. We have twisted pair and we have fiber. So we need to determine, you know, how big is our network going to be and where do we need to put one type and where do we need to put another. So don't always think that when you're looking at the cable that you have to just go with twisted pair and you have to go with fiber. You can do a combination of both. So you need to determine in what areas will twisted pair work because it's more affordable and more economical and what areas is going to require your fiber network. And if you can get away with just twisted pair altogether, then that may be fine as well. And then lastly, your third concern is going to be noise and interference immunity. So we have to think about our concerns with our crosstalk, our EMI, our, our signal emanation, and our signal degradation. And we need to determine what type of factors our environment deals with that, how it affects it, and also our security concerns. So we need to consider all those different aspects. And when we're talking about interference, I'm talking about power cables, microwaves, cell phones, and even motors, like if you have a generator. So we need to think about all that for cross-talking EMI. But then we also have to think about the security of our data. So what if we're on a network that we have potentially classified information, if we're a government network, or we have sensitive but unclassified information, or if we're a corporate network and we have our own proprietary information that we don't want leaked out and we don't want somebody to be doing corporate espionage against us and trying to hack it, we need to consider what's going to work best for us. And if we're worried about the security concerns, then of course, you know, fiber is going to be the best choice. And if we're not so worried, then twisted is going to be fine. So those are the high level criteria that we need to think about. First of all, again, we'll recap. We need to think about our budget and our budgetary constraints. We need to think about our transmission speed requirements both for now and in the future. We need to think about our network distance requirements both now and in the future. And then lastly, we need to think about our noise and interference immunity and also our security concerns. So that's going to go ahead and conclude this video. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, thanks for watching and we'll see you at the next video.